in for Greg Gutfeld, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She won't shoot off her mouth because she follows gun safety rules. <laughs> Townhall.com editor and Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich. <laughs> Thank you. That feels good. Now, now to the news. All right. Uh, so, Katie, this is a tough one for me because he broke the law, but I don't really like be believe in taxes. I also, yeah, I also true. believe in your right to bear arms and the Second Amendment. Joe doesn't feel that way about all those things, though. What are your thoughts? Oh, yeah, Joe really likes people to pay their fair share. Exactly. Uh, Hunter Biden didn't pay any of his taxes. Right. But this indictment's actually very entertaining if you go and read it. I mean, I loved going through all the things that he was doing. He was actually a really nice boyfriend to all these gals. Went to an exotic dancer at a strip club. And in Venmo, he filed it under artwork purchase. And <laughs> the indictment says, quote, the exotic dancer had not sold him any artwork. His plea bargain. He's in trouble because one judge. Not in a plea deal like that ever, and the guy just so happens to be the son of the president. Yeah. What do you think, Tom? Well, yeah, they thought they were going to get away with it. And Joe Biden still thinks he's going with Bill Clinton when they kind of went after him for his thing. And then everyone was appalled by what he did. But then when the process continued with Bill Clinton. Oh, but I, I think that the Bidens are terrified of Hunter. He's a complete loose cannon. He knows where all the bodies are buried. He knows about all the payments were going back and forth. He knows which company was sending money to Joe Biden's bank account. I mean, I think if he doesn't get a pardon from Joe Biden, who has yeah. said that he will not pardon his son, he's willing to sing so loudly because he's not going to go down alone. He knows everything. And also to add to your point, it's the were canceled in Singapore. So I, I but that's OK. You know, it's my choice to express. You don't say enough about January 6th, which is that it is also it is my dog's birthday. Uh, <laughs> <most importantly. laughs> uh, happy early birthday, Carl. Hey, look, this girl, she's too young. She doesn't even remember anything. It was <laughs> like that name. Trader Ming is my drag name. So I'll really miss it, really. <laughs> Well, are, the, the Ming isn't like a Chinese name. Is it's she like, of Asian descent? Do we know? Ben's off of the rice. So now there are no longer black faces in the grocery store. There's just white bread. So Cost. you've seen it also on college campuses where they say, like, certain restaurants shouldn't even sell different cultured food. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then, um, yeah. <laughs> Rob? I'm tempted to say, like, my, my favorite Christmas man skips meals and doesn't even remember to eat. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't bother him. <laughs> you know, do my little easy. Now you can read Cat's book. <laughs> but the little thing, that's why I was agreeing with Katie that sometimes the little things are, are the residents here with bigger. us in the room right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not. Specifically, I want to know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you look, you like look like a guy who does research. Yeah. That's why. I All right, final thoughts, Tom. He's playing in, uh, uh, what town do you said you well, were I'll playing? be at the punchline as well on the 23rd. All right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Tell them, again, it's fantastic working there. <laughs> the UAE is the best. I work there all the time. <laughs> no, it is. It's great. And they look around like, does he know what's going on here? Well, the first five minutes of my act, and then they join in. Well, thank you to Tom Shalou, Katie Pavlich, Scott Kapoor. This is a night with Dreamy Trace Gallagher is next. Go Army Beat Navy. And on behalf of Greg Gutfeld, I'm Kat Kemp, and I love you, America.